Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Neuron Films. Today, as you all probably already know, um, iMovie 10.0.3 was released. I'm going to open up my Apple App Store, and uh, the way you would want to get this um, download is you go to App Store, and it'll go to Updates, and it will take you straight to your updates, and iMovie should be there listed version 10.0.3. And then, in addition, it actually gives you some of the main... Um, fixes that it made within iMovie itself like uh, many of you were still having uh, exporting options which fixed that there um, double click transition and timeline to adjust its duration a lot of that that was fixed as well crop and rotation clips in events change the font size and color of new titles introduced in iMovie version 10 which that that was a big issue with me I actually pointed it out several times within my tutorials option to sort events and sidebar by date and then we also have uh, another common one was which one is it the speed editor here there was another one resolves issue that could cause sharing to fail that was one that I mentioned earlier and there was um, it's in here somewhere I'm just missing it by uh, add speed effects using adjustments bar so I'm gonna list the full all of these uh, the, the chain of the full list of changes that were made in the description below but let me uh, launch iMovie here right away and show you guys some of these changes so here we are, here's our my movie in all projects. And as soon as you launch it, it will be back to an original layout if you made any changes. Like through my tutorials, I've been having it in uh, my, uh, they're basically the original iMovie layout. And what I did to do that was I basically put my timeline here back up and I switched them with my events or projects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our actual, like I'm gonna go to my iMovie tutorials um, project. And I'm going to go to Window and go to Swap Project and Event. And there we are. There, there we have. That's where we normally have. That's where I did all my tutorials on. And that's how um, it all was basically looked. Um, so to begin, let's actually look at the titles. I'm going to show you guys here that all the titles are they they're all you're still gonna have the same titles it's just uh they can you can now change their fonts let me go this is the expand and let's go to the stand now let's go to uh like uh let's go line for example just get two different titles here and you go you basically select the title and you can go to adjustments and then change its font as you can see now you can change the font that that there is the i believe it was the the review expand title I forgot I already forgot which one I did here oh no that was the line and then this one here was the well, we did two lines apparently let's let's change that up let's do another title like let's see what else we got here like this one with a little bit of an animation put it in between here and we should be able to yeah you see now we can change the font to whatever we want which which is one of the biggest problems I've been having but now that it's fixed, all your titles most likely will be able to actually change. You'll be able to change the font of them. And yeah, yeah, you can see here. So now that we got the titles out of the way, let's uh, go over to our uh, adjustments feature. We also we have our normal adjustments as we have seen previously. Um, they're actually a little bit more, uh, I would say, enhanced because the 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 buttons and the controls for them are more uh, precise. They look at least more precise. And cropping feature, this is what they meant by uh, crop to fill, Ken Burns, and then just the rotating feature is still here. So, and also you have the speed editor right here, the right hand side now. Instead of having to right click and go to, you can go show speed editor or going up here to modify and then fast forward or instant replay you can actually go straight to your adjustments tab and change the speed of a by selecting the clip and changing the speed of it through here which I may make a tutorial through adjustments as that as well but those are some of the main features changes the export is still you still have the same options you can export through file which is the way normal I do and then I choose wherever I want to do with it after that have normal formats and then the, to YouTube exporting to YouTube should now work those of you who have been having a problem with it sh it should now completely work and shouldn't have any issue with that anymore but other than that you guys leave a comment below if you have any questions or you want me to link you guys or make a tutorial on how to do anything in particular in a new version of iMovie thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to check out the description for a full list of changes and updates my life be the proof, the proof of you.